Mystical Fire? Flash Fire. Ooh, okay. Heat Wave? Flash Fire. And Miss? And Miss? And Miss? And Miss? Yeah! 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 Freeze? Freeze, 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 freeze? No freeze. Oh, that would have been so hype. Hey everybody, welcome back to VGC Regulation D, where today I'm bringing you a very special rental code from an Andy LaFan, Unsounder Gnome, um, shared this rental code in the Andy the Discord server, link in the description. Uh, basically, you know the Articuno team that's been going around with the Snowcloak Bright Powder? And you know the uh, Berserker Caesar team that's been running around with like the Helping Hand Terrace Deal Bullet Punch to do like stupid amounts of damage? They said, I want to play both. So here we are with both of these modes on a single team. Let's talk about it really quick here. Um, so obviously we're running uh, Obama Snow Articuno, the core of that, that hail team. Um, if you don't know what Snowcloak does, it basically says it's hail, it's snow now. Basically, if you don't know what Snowcloak does, it says that if snow is set, you you have like increased evasion basically. And then Bright Powder also gives you increased evasion. So it's kind of like being at two stages of increased evasion. Um, and a lot of things that ignore evasiveness boosts will not ignore these because these are not like actual evasiveness boosts. It's like a, it's programmed differently. So like Sacred Sword ignores evasiveness boosts, like the stat boost, but it doesn't ignore Bright Powder and Snow Cloak, which is pretty cool. Um, and the other half of this team, um, we have the Caesar and the Berserker. If you don't know what Berserker does, Steely Spirit says that Steel type attacks do 1.5 times more damage. And also, Berserker gets Helping Hand. I did mess with this with Goldengo, but Goldengo is immune to Helping Hand. Caesar is not immune to Helping Hand. So we can click the Terra Steel Bullet Punch. That, so that goes to like what? That's like a base 120 base power bullet punch with the Choice Ban. Um, is 180 with Steely Spirit. Is... Math is hard sometimes. <laughs> um, we, we get up to like... That's a, that's a stupid number. We get up to like... Like almost 300 base power bullet punch, which sounds really stupid. Um, just stupid enough to work, you know what I mean? Um, Berserker also does get some nice like other support moves. Fake out's really nice. Um, and then Iron Head just for your own damage because Steely Spirit does boost your own Berserker's uh, attacks. Which is really cool. Um, and then we have Heatran here to clean up stuff and Chien Pao for even extra damage. Um, I think... Yeah, because we could just do like Chien Pao Caesar, And then Chien Pao kind of like rides the line between these two. Because it gets the defense boost from the snow. It helps the Caesar do more damage. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. This is going to be really interesting. I think it's going to be fun. Um, once again, big shout out to uh, Unsounder Gnome. The, my subscriber. My, my Andy LaFan. Um... This team's name in uh, Pokemon Showdown is Lick the Frozen Flagpole. So, you know, if you want to lick the frozen flagpole, here it is. <laughs> nope, come on, go back. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, if you like this video, leave me a big fat like. Leave me a comment, and the best thing you can do for any content creator that you are watching uh, is follow them, subscribe to them, or whatever platform it is. It doesn't have to be me today, but... Um, it just helps them a lot. It's like the, it's usually the heaviest algorithms. It's usually the thing that is heaviest weighted in the algorithm is if people follow you off of your content, it pushes it way further. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get some good games here. I turned up the game volume because, um, uh, I don't know. I couldn't hear it. I was like, you know, I kind of want to hear the game volume. So hopefully it's not too loud. Um, Hopefully it's at a good, good volume. Let me know if it's too loud or something so I can fix it in the next video. Like, I'll listen and watch, but obviously it's going to be too late by then. <clears throat> what do we do here? Um, let me think for a second. Because, what are they going to do? Are they going to, wow, they have a lot of options here. Um, what is my best option? I think my best option is to go... Oh man, there's so many things we can do. Let's go... Can we beat Heatran? Oh, we have Terra Water or Terra Blast? Yeah, we can beat Heatran. Alright, let's go for... Let's go for the Snow lead this time. I think the Caesar leads... Actually, we could just go Snow in the front, Caesar in the back. I think that would be really funny. 
Um, is that what I want to do? Hmm. No. Yes? Yes. Yes, I do. That is what I want to do. Against my better judgment, that is what I want to do. With my three ice types and my three steel types. <coughs> what a silly, what a silly team. Uh, you know, silly teams are the best teams. Um, Unsounder Gnome is quoted in the end of the Discord as saying, um, is it really good? Probably not. Do I cackle like a crazy person frequently while running it? Most definitely yes. And you know what? That is the most important thing. Okay, so they're going for Heatran. That's actually kind of fine for us here. I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm just going to set the Aurora Veil, right? Uh, what's the item here? Light Clay? Yeah, let's see if we can't, I don't know if we can. What is the Terra type on us? Also Water? I think we have to switch, but everything is weak to fire. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to Aurora Veil, and we're gonna go for the Terra Water Terra Blast on this Heatran. Let's see how we, how far we get. Um, if we're lucky, they'll just miss, and like it'll be fine. You know what I mean? If the Heat Wave could miss Articuno, that would, or if the Heat Wave could miss Heatran, that'd be words. If the Heat Wave could miss Obama Snow, that would be amazing. <laughs> Ice will crash. We resist. Hopefully, we don't flinch. That'd be kind of sad. They don't even miss the Heat Wave. That's disgusting. Um, I like Sash Obama Snow. Um, but I guess if you're running Sash and Obama Snow, you can't run it on the... the Chien Pao, so... Oh, and I flinch! Wow! What an unlucky turn. What a terrible, terrible turn. Alright, let's get Berserker in. <clears throat> we still have a chance here. Man, people are running so much speed on Heatran. I feel like... You know what I mean? All right, let's go for this again. Hopefully, I don't tear it at grass. That would kind of suck, wouldn't it? Let's see here. How are we? We're not running any speed, but we're like not, we're like the same base speed as Heatran, I guess. So it's possible that it was a speed tie. I think Heatran's 85 speed. It might be more than that. But that sounds about right for Heatran. Okay, that's great. That's actually perfect. As long as the Heatran doesn't protect. Great. Bam. Be flinched. Flinched be thy be thy name. Uh, we're gonna like get a chunk of special attack. Not actually, not that much. <clears throat> okay, the next one KOs. <clears throat> ah, they're leftovers. Do we think they're gonna Terra here? I suppose they could. Um, let's. We have to protect Berserker. I'm gonna click Blizzard. I kind of feel like they're gonna Terra. No Terra. Okay. So they do four times resist this blizzard, which is kind of not great, but it is what it is. Sacred Sword, into the Protect, perfect. What does Heatran click? Oh, just Heat Wave again? Into the Protect, okay, miss. Miss, 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 miss. Hey, let's go. The Terra Blast would have been free, but it is what it is. Um, actually losing Obama Snow was kind of terrible, wasn't it? <clears throat> I think that double up KO's Berserker like pretty hard, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna go for the Iron Head, and I have to just click the Terra Blast here. I think their strategy is just to ignore Articuno. Oh, okay. Actually, that's fine. We are we are not in a good place right now, guys. Let me tell you. Oh, we took like no damage. Thank you, Chapelberry. I think I lived that without the Chapelberry. As long as we get the KO and Shian Power, I'll feel a little bit better. Um, yeah, I should have just switched out Obama Snow, but I didn't bring anything. I didn't bring Heatran. I should have brought Heatran. <coughs> Bringing Heatran probably would have been great. Because, like, what are we? We're Terra Grass. Oh, okay. Our Heatran... Oh, it does have Earth Power. Okay. There's Cresselia. That's kind of fine. Um, I think I have the Helping Hand now, though. Or I don't KO, right? That's kind of rough, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna just go for the helping hand here. And I'll click the Terra Blast one more time. They've recovered enough HP from leftovers that I don't think we KO without helping hand, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. You can miss the Heat Wave into both, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, actually, not both, but that's fine. I'll take it. 
<clears throat> um, this might be the last turn of the snow, which would actually be kind of devastating. I should have protected my Obama Snow a little bit better, huh? They could still miss, though. Because we are still Bright Powder. I got greedy and went for the Aurora Veil. That's okay. This is a long game. There's the Ursa Luna. Um, what do I think they're likely to click here? <clears throat> protect, maybe? Yeah, they might actually just click Protect. I'm going to go ahead and get Caesar in. It's Choice Band, huh? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get Caesar in. And I'm gonna go ahead and click Roost. I think that's the play here. I have faith that Articuno can maybe take one attack from this Ursa Luna. Maybe. Maybe not if it's like Terra Normal Guts Facade. Okay, yeah, perfect. What does Cresselia go for? Just Moonblast? Oh, okay, that's fine. We're gonna heal all of that off. And then you can get the special attack drop, which is kind of amazing. Okay. I also kind of have some faith that Caesar probably takes an attack from Ursa Luna too. What do I want to do here? Um... <clears throat> I think I'm just going to double the Ursa Luna, right? What does more damage? Uh, Terra Blast actually does more damage? Blizzard does the most damage, right? Or no, because it has a 25% decrease. So, Terra Blast does the most damage. Alright. Do they Terrastalize? Yes. What do they Terrastalize into? I'll cry. I'll cry. Is Terra normal, probably? Terra Ghost. Okay. Well, that's not great for us, but it's kind of okay. Terra Ghost? What? But, you know, that's kind of like for... It's not for no reason, but... Oh... We're playing stupid Cresselia. Okay. I hate Ally Switch. It's back again to be a pain in my behind. Rocky Helmet Cresselia? I do, in fact, take one of those. Um, but it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> hmm, let's think about this here. What do we think they're going to do? Because I honestly have no idea. Um, I think I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch again. And I'm going to switch Berserker in. Because Berserker probably eats, right? Uh, they might just Earthquake, actually. <clears throat> if they Earthquake, we just lose. But if they click Facade, we might be okay. How much does this do? Wow, that's a lot. If Caesar can live this, we might be okay. Caesar? Okay. <clears throat> now here's the only deal. Um, I think we have to... Oh. Oh. I kind of hate this team. This team that I'm playing against, I hate it. I just didn't bring anything for the Heatran. That's kind of my bad, I guess. This is such a long game. I'm tired. This is a tiring game. Now, they can still miss, I guess. Um, man, I wish I had called the Terra and just gone for Thief. That would have been really funny. Alright, well, I'm going to just call Ally Switch because I really don't have any better plays to make. And let's just click Blizzard. They might just protect or whatever, but... Oh, no, no Ally Switch. Of course not. <clears throat> Of course not. Why would they ally switch when I think they're going to ally switch? Could you miss, please? Nope. Well, we got, like, what? One miss that whole time? That's crazy. <coughs> Alright. <clears throat> Gosh, my voice just... Chill out, please. I don't know why it's being so uncooperative today. Alright, well, I'm kind of sad with how that first game went. And it was a very long game. Man, okay. So I have to... I have to play better. I feel like that was winnable and I just didn't play very good. We don't have um, Sacred Sword either. Okay. So, like, Sacred Sword wouldn't have been an answer to Heatran either. We're doing okay, though. Like, honestly, like that, that was definitely winnable. I just didn't bring the right Pokemon. That and Cresselia Ursaluna is too 
Cresselia is too reliable of a Pokemon, I feel like. It kind of, I kind of hate how reliable Cresselia is. Okay. Um, okay. You know what? I think this is fine. Wait. Let me think for a second. Because, yeah, this should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and... <clears throat> I'm going to lead something. Um... I think we have to do Articuno stuff. I don't really want to lead Abomasnow, though, I don't think, because then, like, what if they switch Pelipper in? Does that make sense? So my slowest Pokemon is... My slowest Pokemon is... I think it's Preserker. Preserker is pretty darn slow. It is Preserker. So we're going to lead Preserker Articuno. And then in the back... Oh, man, it's going to have to be Caesar and Abomasnow, isn't it? What if we go... Okay. What if we just go... Um... This guy. Yeah, let's go like... <clears throat> more of a snow heavy mode, I think is what we need. This is probably water type... If it's dark type Urshifu, I'll cry, but it's probably water type Urshifu. Do open team sheets... Open team sheets tell you which, which form of Urshifu it is, right? I actually... Uh, don't know, but I would imagine that it does. Because, like, it tells you, like, what form of Rotom it is. It'd be weird if it didn't. That's, like, a thing. Like, why is Urshifu the only Pokemon with multiple forms where it doesn't tell you which form it is on Team Preview? Isn't that kind of weird? I feel like that doesn't make... I feel like Urshifu as a Pokemon doesn't need the additional I don't know which form it is on lead. It's already such a good Pokemon. Okay, yeah, it is Rapid Strike Urshifu. That's fine. This is fine, actually. Wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna click Freeze Dry and Fake Out, right? Like, unless the Grimmsnarl has a faster Fake Out, there's, like, no downside to this. And they would have to click Fake Out into Berserker. Because I don't think there's any way that, like, the Urshifu can KO Articuno right this second. I think their plan is probably the parting shot into the Pelipper. But if that's the plan, then that's fine, I think. It's not great. I suppose they could miss parting shot, which would be pretty amazing. Yeah, I think they're going to parting shot into Pelipper and then just, like, try to Surging Strike something. Oh, no, they do have the faster Fake Out. Okay. Um, I really don't like that. Um, okay. I think I'm okay with this. Let's go ahead and just tear it a water so that we can resist, right? And then, um, I think we just click Helping Hand just in case, right? Yeah. I don't really have any way to, like, switch out if they're going to click Parting Shot, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's just click Helping Hand. I think that's the play. We'll see if it's the right play, but I think it's the play. I'm kind of worried, actually, because... <sighs> Let's think. If What's the worst case scenario? The Urshifu terrestrializes to water, right? And then... They parting shot into Pelipper. And then... We die, right? Do we live this? I have a lot of defense. Articuno has a good chunk of defense. I feel like we can live this. But with, like, Urshifu, you can never really be that sure. Because Urshifu is scary. If they didn't Parting Shot, though, I think we'll be fine. Because if, like, Pelipper doesn't come in, we always live this. Like, I, I have no doubt in my mind. Helping Hand. What does Grimmsnarl click? And can they miss the Parting Shot? Nope, they do not miss the Parting Shot. Man, Bright Powder is so bad. You run Bright Powder and you never get any misses. It feels like it's not fair. It's my whole strategy, like, you know what I mean? I guess Urshifu could still miss. Yeah, I didn't think I was ever gonna get control of the weather on this turn. Oh, Pelipper actually doesn't come in. Oh, actually, wait, that's great. Because we live this, and then we we definitely, like, knock out Urshifu, right? Oh, we super duper live this. And with the Helping Hand, I think we can do it. The Helping Hand might just give us just enough oomph, but most people are running, like, pretty bulky Urshifu these days. 
Oh, it's Life Orb? Okay, yeah, we should be fine. Great. So Urshifu's gone. Um, I feel like we have very little to be afraid of now. Because, like, yeah, they have Fake Out Pressure, and, like, yeah, Rillaboom can hit Articuno for weakness now that we Terrastalize the Water type. I actually think I eat that really well without Terrastalizing. I might not have needed to. And Scrimsnarl that comes back in. Oh, they have double Fake Out Pressure. All right, cool. Bet. I'm going to go ahead and... What am I going to do? Um... I think I'm just going to Protect. I don't have Protect. Oh, I thought I had Protect. I guess I can't have Protect and Roost and all the... I'm going to get a Bomb of Snow in. And I'm going to Iron Head this Grimmsnarl. Let's see if we can get rid of it. Now, they're probably just going to, like, Fake Out Articuno, Wood Hammer Articuno. <laughs> which would actually be kind of amazing for us. We have the Snow. There's the Fake Out into the Articuno slot. There's the wood hammer into the Articuno slot. Obama Snow does not care. Let's see how much this iron this uh, iron head does. If this iron head can KO, that'd be amazing. Oh, that's so good. Wait, <laughs> we're running. Oh, we're just running max attack Choppleberry. <laughs> I needed to like look at what these sets were a little bit more closely. Okay, yeah. So they're already like, down their last two Pokemon. I don't see any way that we lose this. Oh, they didn't even bring the Pelipper. Wow, okay. Um, let me think really quick here. I'm going to Aurora Veil first. And I really wish I had... Um, U-Turn. Berserker always needs five moves, man. I Every time I try to, like, use one. Alright, let's just go for the Blizzard. And let's switch in Articuno. I don't see any reason for them to woodhammer the Preserker slot. That just doesn't make sense. <coughs> oh, U-turn. Yeah, that'll do some damage. That's fine. Oh, they just double Obama Snow. They're like, no, you're not allowed to have... I'm gonna live, though, because that was kind of a pitiful two attacks. Obama Snow clicks Blizzard. How much does it do? That's a good chunk, actually. Oh, and I'm touching the ground now, so I get... <laughs> I get grassy terrain. That's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna just... Um, I'm gonna click Aurora Veil. Why not? And I'm just gonna click Blizzard again. I feel like this is gonna do a lot more than Obama Snow's Blizzard, probably. Let's see. Um, actually, no. Surprisingly enough, the Obama Snow hits harder than the Articuno, it looks like. Oh, we get a freeze. That's so good. Instant thaw. Gleam. Again, no miss. I've, I've, I've seen one move miss this Articuno, and it was a heat wave. Big freezes. Was I faster? Did I move before? Oh, no, Articuno and uh, Rillaboom have like the same base speed, don't they? I'm gonna Ice Shard the Rillaboom. Oh, actually I can't Ice Shard the Rillaboom. I'm gonna click Blizzard and Roost, I guess. We actually might take a Wood Hammer now. Oh, great. They gave up. <laughs> okay. What a great time. That first game went so bad. I feel... So bad about how the first game went. It probably was winnable. We need more answers for Heatran that aren't Heatran, I think. It's just such a bulky Pokemon. Like, the Terra Water Terra Blast doesn't do it. You know what I mean? Yes, we're going to get one more battle. We're one and one right now. Can we shore it up? Can we be two and one with the Steel and Ice team? I have no idea what the thumbnail for this video is going to be. There's so many things happening. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Um, so, there's a lot of scary things here, I'm not going to lie. But, I think I'm going to, I think I know what to do, okay? We're going to go Obama Snow. we're going to go Articuno, um, they might not have weather, if they have a weather it's sunny day, right? We're going to go Heatran, and... 
Um, hmm. What's Caesar's territory? It's steel, right? Yeah. Um, I think I want to go Caesar. Let's go Caesar. I think that's the play. No Berserker this time. We did get off the one Steely Spirit Bullet Punch, but it didn't help us enough. If it had like KO'd that Ursa Luna, that would have been amazing, but I didn't have like Helping Hand. Actually, with Helping Hand and Terra Steel, it would have KO'd the, Abom the, uh, the Ursa Luna. That's really funny. But I keep having to like defensively tear up my Articuno. Maybe it's the way I'm playing. Okay, yeah, Chiyu Fluttermane was kind of like exactly the lead I was expecting. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to hard switch Obama Snow into Heatran. We're going to Terrastalize to Water. And do I Terra Blast the Chiyu or do I just Blizzard? You know, honestly, I think I'm gonna just Blizzard. This Chiyu probably can't do any. This, on, this, this, these two Pokemon can't do a whole lot to Heatran, probably. Although it is Specs very offensive Heatran, right? What am I running? Okay, four speed, two out speed. What? Heatran's 77 speed. Huh? Terra Fairy? Terra Fire? Why are you running Terra Fire Fluttermane? Okay. Well, at least I terrestrialized to water, I guess. Are they gonna click a fire type move or just is this just to resist blizzard? Because now I can Terra Blast them next turn. And they can miss. Is this the game where they miss? Mystical Fire? Flash Fire. Ooh, okay. Heat Wave? Flash Fire. And miss? And miss and miss and miss? Yeah! 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 Freeze? Freeze, 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 freeze? No freeze. Oh, that would have been so hype. Um, okay, what do we do now? I think we just Earth Power. And we... Um, who's faster? The Articuno's faster? Okay, scratch that. We... Oh, no. I think we just double the, the Fluttermane, right? Yeah. If Articuno KOs Fluttermane, then Heatran will probably KO the... the Chiyu. Okay, Chiyu switches out. Interesting. Then it's probably a good thing that I doubled, because now I actually have a chance to KO Fluttermane. Okay, that's interesting. They probably think that Sacred Sword does the thing here, but it doesn't. They do not miss the Moonblast. That is relevant damage. And the special attack drop? Gosh. That's so lame. What if I had Heat Wave? Oh, I still get the KO? So we still get to click Earth Power into the... And that probably knocked it down the Sash, I would imagine. Wait, this is kind of, like, great right now. Okay, it doesn't knock it down the Sash, but they're in Blizzard range, I think. Oh, and the special defense drop is huge. Oh, we're doing so good. What comes in now? What else was on their team? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Okay. But they don't hit me for weakness anymore. So we switch in... Nope. Wait. We switch in Caesar, right? And we click Blizzard. Or... Um, do we click Terra Blast? I... I want to click Blizzard so bad. What do we click? I think we have to click Terra Blast. I think we have to guarantee this KO. There's no way they're clicking a Fire-type move into the Heatran slot. So this Caesar switching should be super good. And, um, it's gonna do big damage to anything. Sacred Sword shouldn't knock us out, okay? I'm expecting Rock Slide. They don't miss, which is... So dumb. Watch us flinch, too. We don't flinch! Let's go, Articuno! <laughs> Big KO. Oh, actually, they live. That's crazy. And they're, like, Citrus Berry? Okay. Do we think Caesar can take this KO? I kind of want to believe in him. Do we believe in him? I think we believe in him. Yes! I was expecting Chiyu to protect, because in front of the Caesar, that'd be really stupid. 
All right, bullet punch with the Sword of Ruin on the field. Give me the KO. Yes! Yes! <laughs> We're doing so good. I wish I had clicked Roost. That would have been the uh, the 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 MVP play the MVP play of the game right there. Bullet punch into Roost with the prediction on the protect. I thought maybe there was a chance that Bullet Punch didn't get the KO. That's why I didn't go for it. Wait, we're so good right now. Can I lose this still? No, because there's no way Chiyu takes out Heatran. So as long as I can connect this Bullet Punch, we should be fine. Right? Yeah, I think, I think we just win. Ice Shard is a move you can click. We live the Ice Shard. Caesar. Oh, even the Crit Ice Shard. That's amazing. Bullet Punch. Kablam! Gone. Chi, uh, Chi and Pao never heard of him. Now Chiyu goes. Chiyu probably will. Oh no, they actually go for Dark Balls. Okay. All right, that's kind of clutch. I'm not gonna lie, that's a clutch play. Um, I'm getting the. I don't know actually. What if it's Specs? Oh, just in time for the snow to stop. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring Heatran in. We should live, like, an attack from this Chiyu, no matter what. I would imagine. And we get to hit it with another Bullet Punch. That's so good. Earth Power is the best play here. Aww, they don't let us get the satisfaction. Okay, well... <coughs> that first game was kind of a bummer, but 2-1 is pretty good. 2-1 is pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy. I think I'm pretty happy. All right. Well, that's the video, everybody. If you like this team, just rent it. Leave it. Leave a. If you're gonna use this team, leave a comment and say thank you to Unsounder Gnome. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. If you like the video, leave me the likes and the comments. Um. Subscribe. Be an Andy LaFan today, especially if you watch this whole video. If you're not subscribed, this is kind of embarrassing. Like, this is 31 minutes of a grown man playing Pokemon, talking to himself. Like, come on. Um, yeah, if you want to be a certified annual fan, you can join um, underneath the video or on my channel page. It's 99 cents a month. You get emotes, you get the channel badge, you get your name in the Andy La credits. And with that, everybody, my name is Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time.